Hey superstars, I want to share with you the three strategies that I use to get people enrolled into my coaching program. All right, let's go. 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 <laughs> okay, so what are these strategies that I use? Now, you, if you watched one video, the other video from last week, you know I talked about that there are some common mistakes that you probably made. And if you didn't watch that video, you need to go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see if I can put a, um, a little, I don't know, little info bar back down here at the bottom. If not, then it will definitely be in the comment section because I want you guys to go back to watch that comment mistakes. But one of the things that you probably already have is your website you got that checked off you probably have your coaching programs together checked off but how do you get people like enrolled into this you got all this beautiful website you got your coaching programs you probably got some products too but how do you get people over there well one of the things that i've done and i had to really get clear about this um as i was building my coaching business is that i needed to nail my branding what is that what was the color schemes that i was going to use what was the voice that i was going to speak from what was all that i had to nail that now i'm going to be honest with you i'm going to tell you the truth it's been a work in progress i didn't start off at the gate with a perfect brand no i did not i did not it was a growing process and i am I'm, I'm in a growing process even now things are going to change probably for this year but you want to be at least clear in the beginning so nailing your brand has to do with logos okay getting your color schemes together it also has to deal with the voice that you're going to speak from so when I started off I wasn't really sure what my voice was I didn't know what connected with people and so I spoke very robotic like you know I sort of regurgitated what I read. I tried to use words that I wouldn't use in my everyday life. And it became really difficult to keep up with that because I know some of you might have the like imposter syndrome, but to me that was strictly like being somebody else. That wasn't even me. So as I started to really get clear about speaking from my point of view in my own voice, did I start to see a increase of my potential ideal clients enrolling into my coaching program. So part of the branding part, which is still important is the logos and the colors, but I really want to say that it's about your voice and speaking from that voice and being okay with speaking with that voice. You do not have to be like everybody else that is doing everything else the same way. Be you. And then the people who really want to do business with you will do business with you. So nail that brand and then particularly make sure you start to speak from your own voice, what you believe in your mission and your values, because that's all going to come through when you start to share from there. All right. So that's what I did. That was one thing I nailed my brand. Number two, I really got clear and started to do the research that I needed to do to get paid to not get what to to understand how to use paid advertisement Facebook ads or Instagram ads or Pinterest ads and YouTube ads and still working on that one though but I got really clear and started to say okay I immersed myself in learning about Facebook ads and part of the Facebook ads is I wasn't driving people straight to my coaching program. I was driving them through my marketing funnel because they all say that most people do not buy uh, products that are over about $20, $30 straight from online. They need to be sort of massaged a little bit. So you want to move people through your marketing funnel. So you want to use those Facebook ads, Instagram ads, or whatever. You want to use paid advertisement to get people to your lead magnet, your freebie. 
And then that freebie is going to take them through a series of emails or different offers on an automated basis. That's what we call the marketing funnel or the sales funnel as one of my clients calls it. He calls it the income funnel, which I love that name. Okay. But that's what I had to get clear on and really immerse myself in Facebook ads. So that's what helped me enroll my clients and it continuously works in the background. I'm not uh, trying to always, um, sell something every single day. What I do is what I really love to do is doing these YouTube videos, doing my podcast, uh, posting social media graphics and or, or posting on social media and doing Facebook lives. So those things, when I make an offer doing those particular, you know, content uh, mediums that I put out, I am literally sending people through a funnel that eventually lands into me offering them to enroll into one of my programs. So paid advertisement, if you're not good at that, start learning. Immerse yourself in that and finding out the easiest route to start offering and using Facebook ads or Instagram ads or just paid advertisement, okay? So that's number two. That's the second thing that I've done. The third thing, which is I like doing, I really do like doing it and I could probably be doing more of these is that I will offer uh, free webinars. Webinar, the word webinar is like an old term. So free workshops, okay? Or a free boot camp. you hear that word too. But um, a free live training uh, and not something that's really short and sweet. I mean, we're talking about maybe an hour of good stuff, my best stuff. And so at the end of that webinar, I would then offer to uh, talk about my coaching program and you know sell them into my coaching program. The, the webinar, I'm, a, I'm probably gonna use the word interchangeable. Webinar or free workshop really gives people an opportunity to see what you're about. Again, if you guys have watched any of my videos or listened to any of my podcasts, you hear me say that people want to get to know you. They want to test you out. They want to sample what you have to offer. I mean, let's think about it. When we go to the grocery store, we want to sample what we're going to buy, right? And if those people out there are giving us samples, we're trying them. We're like, ooh, that's good. And then we run down the aisle to buy it. That's what your clients are doing. They want to test you, sample what you have to offer first. And webinars are fabulous for that. So if you know how to do webinars, then you need to do more of them. How about doing one once a month? And then as you get really good and comfortable, do them once a week. Now here's the secret that some people don't tell you. You can do the same webinar over again. You're saying probably to yourself, at least really, but people are going to get tired of seeing that same webinar. Well, boo, you're not trying to show the webinar to the same people. You're trying to attract and keep the new ones or bring in new ones. So the new ones haven't seen the webinar. Ah, right. <laughs> All right, guys. So those are the three strategies that I've used to enroll people into my coaching program. So again, you want to um, uh, you you want to get your branding clear, and in particular, I want you to be really comfortable with within your own voice. Be who you are. Number two, you want to immerse yourself and learn about paid advertisement. Okay. It is going to work for you. It's going to be an easier way to move people through your funnel and it's going to leverage your time. So it's a a good thing to learn and how to use. And it's not that expensive. It's nothing like radio ads or uh, billboard ads at all. So immerse yourself into Facebook ads or paid advertisement. And then the third thing is to do webinars, free webinars or free workshops and invite people to hop on with you and teach your best stuff. Do not hold out. Teach your good stuff to them. Okay. And then make an offer at the end. All right. So guys, I've got something for you. I got a freebie for you. It's my course. It's my coaching program planner. Okay. If you want that, go to alicemichelle.com forward slash CP planner. CP stands for course planner. 
it stands for course program planner duh yeah <laughs> i'm gonna get it right <laughs> all right guys so again if you are planning a new course i mean cope i just can't get that right <laughs> If you are planning a new coaching program, then head over and download my free course planning. Uh, course, I, I keep saying course, <laughs> my free coaching program planner. All right, guys, so let me hop off this video before I continue to make more mistakes. All right, you guys have a blessed and awesome day. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube video. And if you're listening to me on the podcast, go ahead and hit the subscribe button there. All right, guys, have a great day. <laughs> Bye-bye.